This is my quilt behind me. Okay, I'm standing in front of my, my lovely quilt, uh, Silver Linings, which won at the, uh, well, no, it's not my quilt. Good morning, everybody. This is live from um, the Festival of Quilts, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2021. No, I need another coffee. It's 2021 Festival of Quilts. And we are live from Festival of Quilts in the Handy Quilter classroom. I hope this is on. Um, and we are surrounded by Amaras and people doing Linda's feather class. So here, I'm going to swap round, press my little button, if I can find it again. Oh, where's it gone? There's a little button, hopefully. Otherwise, oh yes, here it is. Little button. Here we go. This is the handy class. There's Linda Jackson, handy quilter ambassador and educator Linda Jackson with Claire Millon, who, there she goes. She has a loud voice, doesn't need the I microphone. Do. I don't need a microphone. I did, I did. And this is Claire. She's been doing some beautiful feathers here. Here we go. Fantastic. Hi, Claire. Hi. Now, Claire, I think this is your third class, isn't it? This year, yes. Yes, this, this year. So what have your other classes been on? Uh, Rulers yesterday yep. and improv. Improv with Abigail. So Rulers, Mastering Rulers with Linda. And improv quilting with Abigail Sheridan de Goff. Fantastic. Thank you, Claire. Okay, and then we're going to move to um, Jan Bevan. Now, Jan, you originally started with a handy quilter Sweet 16 and you changed it to uh, of an, an Avante. I'm going to get a coffee after this because I can tell I can't speak quite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jan, so how's it going this morning? Oh, it's good, pra good practice on the ferrets because I okay. haven't really done any for a while. No? Okay, fantastic. And uh, you're enjoying doing different styles of feathers. So yeah. Linda's teaching you. What's your, what? What are, is there anything in particular that you've picked up this morning that you don't know? Is it just really reiterating the basics? It's just so far. In lots of practices. Um, lots of yeah. Sorry, I should come closer. And, and also, sorry, I'm not. I probably need to come closer because I haven't got my second microphone on. You won't. Nobody will be able to hear you. Hang on a second. Go ahead. It's been really good getting in lots of extra practice and yep. I've learned not to look at the needle but look well ahead, ah. like when you're driving a car. Okay, so like driving a car, you've got to look ahead, almost like going around a corner. Okay, brilliant, thank you. I'm just going to get my... Brilliant. I'm going to get... Could you just... Actually, could you just hold my camera for a second? I'm going to get my second microphone on because I've realised I've made a technical error of not having a second microphone. Bear with me a moment. I don't want to stop the live feed. Let's get that going. Thanks, Jan. Thank you. Excellent. So you need to start to put what we'll do later on is put a bit of an start on angle as well. So Okay. Right, and next we've got um, Anne, and we are now. Everybody will remember you <laughs> because we did Facebook Live from your house. You did, and you did. we were installing your Amara, weren't we? Yes, and I'm very, very pleased with it. I love it. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And now you're practicing feathers with yes. Linda Jackson. Let's have a look at your feathers. Um, well, early days. Okay. Early days, but uh, good. Lots of information, very yep. good. Yeah, great. Okay, well, um, they're, they're looking really good, actually, I have to say. I mean, how did you find the transition? Because you, you were obviously on a sit-down before. Uh, not too bad, actually. It was okay. fine. It was yeah. fine. It, was, uh, it took me a while because you set up the test piece yes. on the machine, and then it took us about two days to get the next piece on the machine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, loading loading the frame was the new skill, yeah. wasn't it? I think we downloaded the handy quilter manual, but it didn't actually have a photograph of a quilt on the machine. Okay. It turned, it turned, yeah. So yeah. Uh, so then we resorted to YouTube, but that was good. Yeah. Um, YouTube is a very useful resource. Yeah. So I have actually done some butterfly stencil work on one of my unfinished projects. So okay. that, I was pleased with that. Yeah. But here, learning a bit about feathers. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you, Anne. But I have. 
early days, but early I'm enjoying days. it. Yeah, I mean, the machine is relatively new for you. Yeah. But what's nice is that you're actually using the same machine here. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, this great. was a bit of a bonus being able to do this course here today. So yes. Really good. Yeah, excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your class. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to. Um, oh, look, here we go. There's some beautiful feathers here. And this is done by Sandra, who has an Avanti. So I'm going to be moving. I'm going to be moving through the show. Um, there's some lovely quilts as inspiration around the walls of our handy quilter classroom. Now we are planning for 2022 to be doing a similar thing. In fact, I've been talking with the organisers um, yesterday. I spoke with the organisers. I'm going to be talking with Handy Quilter about what we plan to do. And um, bye, everybody. Bye. bye. I'm leaving the Handy Quilter classroom. I'm going to be moving through the show, looking through and looking at some of the exhibits. We've got some amazing quilts. Um, and I'm, this is, you know, there's so much space here at uh, Quilts, uh, Festival of Quilts this year. And I know that, you know, it's not going to be quite the same in 2022. I've had a look at the stand, provisional plan of Festival of Quilts 2022. And, oh, 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 oh. Oh, look at this one. Dance of the Fireflies. This is by Brenda Rowe, who has actually, Brenda, Brenda has three machines in three different countries. She has an Infinity, Handy Quilter Infinity in the UK. And um, I imagine that, uh, that was done on Handy Quilter Infinity because it's a stunning quilt. Is it? Here we have some, we have some lovely ladies <laughs> looking at Brenda's quilt. I'm doing Facebook Live. Um, don't worry, there's only 13 people looking, but there will be a lot. <laughs> There'll be a lot more people looking later. Ha, ha, you have a question? Can you tell us why she's done this? I is don't it, know. I've only just sort of discharged or put on. Don't know, do we? We don't know. I'll have to ask Brenda. Brenda is. Um, I'll ask Brenda. She's. She is here. I'll. I'll find out. And we'll. If you go on our Pinhole Quilting Facebook page, we'll ask Brenda, and I'll. Jack, do you want to know later? I'll give you a card. Hang on a second. Please. I might have to dig in my pocket. Can I hold it for you? Could you hold that bit for me? I'm Let me it. just I'm turn that off. I can hold anything for you. Here you go. <laughs> now that it's off. <laughs> Thank you. If you look on our Facebook page. Okay, so, so basically this is... Um, if you look on our Facebook page later, I'll answer that question. Or well, Brenda will go on our Facebook page and answer it for you. So what, what the ladies here were asking is, there is um, a technique that Brenda Rowe has used on this beautiful quilt. It's called Dance of the Fireflies. And if anybody's familiar with fireflies, like you get in, in uh, you know, Mediterranean countries, which is where Brenda spends a bit of her time in France and Spain, it's, um, it's captured that sort of incredible thing that you see at night in warm, beautiful Mediterranean countries that we don't quite get in the UK, um, of the fireflies at night. Um, and we don't know whether it's a discharge technique or not. Um, but we'll find out for you. We'll let you know. Thank you. And um, Brenda Rowe has got, um, yes, yeah, she's got an infinity, Handy Quilter Infinity in the UK. And she was doing our yoga session, our live yoga session yesterday on the mats between halls nine and eight. Um, which was a lot of fun. Have a look at our Facebook Live yesterday. Louise Cox, so oh, glad I watched, just realized I've loaded my top quilt. Oh dear. Okay, Louise, it's early days, it's gonna happen. Don't worry, you're not the, you're not the first, you're not the last, I'm sure. Um, there are lots of instruction videos on um, how to do those things. Did she give me that? No. Okay, um, so Brenda Rowe has got, um, yeah, an Avanti and a Sweet 16 sit down in different countries, which is wonderful. And uh, so we've got these beautiful quilts. That's a fun one with the zip. Mary Main. I, yeah, Mary Main. Yes, I remember Mary Main. Confluence, Kate Doughty. Yeah, very well known quilter, Kate Doughty. Confluence, like that. So I'm just moving my way through this amazing festival of quilts. I'm gonna try and keep it as steady as possible. What's lovely is because, you know, Annalise Little Fair shared some of the um, incredible quilts. I actually feel like I have a bit of a heads up on where the amazing quilts are, and this was one of them. Wow, 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 wow. 
um, you know, having, having done a bit of scuba diving in my time and having fought with um, a few incredible six foot um, moray eels. I have a picture of me with a moray eel that stuffed his head in my feed bucket full of squid at Stingray City one time. We used to call him BJ. I don't know why we called him BJ. He didn't know his name was BJ. Oh, you go ahead. And um, BJ wanted to get all the squid out of my bucket. So he just put his head in the bucket and I had this six foot moray with his head in my feed bucket. I didn't let go of the feed bucket. And it's a great photo. It just reminded me of the feed bucket with BJ. And um, it looks frightening. It has these multiple faces and heads. And it is just a stunningly executed, scary, monstery thing with a huge amount of dimension and texture, with a huge, the brilliant use of thread. And who's, this is a second prize winner. Um, and here we go, monstrous attacker. Yannicka de Vries von, von Zinger. I remember when the second prize winner was announced by Stuart. I think he struggled with this one. But look, incredible use of thread to create dimension. Beautiful, beautiful quilt. So then we're going to walk around here. Look, there's tons and tons of space. Do come to Festival of Quilts 2022 because it's going to be so much fun. I know it will be different. Oh, I love this. Look at this. No, not the guy with the rucksack, the quilt behind it. Here we go. Whoops. This is amazing. I'm imagining that when this was created, they used probably something like a Solvi or something like that, where they've then used a wash away. Because look, you can see, there's the guy with the rucksack again. Look, he's just there. And you can see through it. Wow. Very, very clever, very cool. It's like a linen. The eye. The eye is amazing. The eye is amazing. Look. And this is incredible. Genevieve Attinger. Aradon, France, au nom de droit. Okay, au nom du droit. Is that the name of the, of the right? Okay, my French for sale, the office welcome. Okay, can a French person help me here? What does that really mean? Of name, of the name of the right? Okay, I don't understand that. This is cool. What is very interesting about this really is just the use of, like, if you use fabric in a way that is all about value, you can create pictures where you don't see the fabric, you just see the picture. And this is another one that I thought was beautiful. When you see it from a distance, it looks stunning. I think perspective, it's very, very difficult to get this little mermaid. I'm thinking of you, Sharon. And um, Sharon Gresham, who lives down in Pershaw, um, lovely friend who quilts on a faff power quilter, which is actually made by handy quilting. Um, so this is by Laura Graham. Um, who is, I'm just going to close up on this, PT37. And Laura Graham has done a beautiful job on this. And it's Little Mermaid. And we talked about Mermaid Sharon because your daughter is a Little Mermaid. And it was Sharon's birthday last week and I put together what I called a mermaid pack of glide threads for my friend Sharon for her birthday. And it's all of the glide threads that are like ocean, sand dune, 
Tidewater, because Sharon Sales and her daughter is called a mer she called her daughter Mermaid, and um, she made her a mermaid costume. Her daughter is practically like a fish, and this is another beautiful one. And um, Sharon used to sail at Cowes and was an incredibly good competitive sailor uh, on a Contessa. And um, her daughter looks like a mermaid and she made her like a tail and everything. And I used to be a scuba diver and um, I remember diving in Lanzarote one time and I was trying to get all my gear back on the rib and the scuba diving instructor that I was diving with, he didn't know I was an instructor because I always give like a really low grade card in case they give me a really rubbish diver to dive with. And I just gave him my advanced diver. It's okay. You go. Just gave him my advanced diver certificate and he pushed me back in the water. And I said, why did you do that? And he said, you swim like a fish. Look at this. This is um, somebody who lives up in Aberdeen. Clearly. So this is a judge's choice by Re Brenda Rowe, who uh, we saw that beautiful firefly quilt and what did Brenda say? I think this is beautiful. So Brenda said, the calmness and serenity of the scene is the perfect antidote to the stress of the current pandemic. Exquisitely and masterfully quilted to capture a moment in time. Beautiful presentation of your work. Name of judge, Brenda Rowe. And Brenda was on our yoga mat yesterday morning. Thank you, Brenda. And thank you for your time and experience in judging at Festival of Quilts this year. We really appreciate your time and experience in judging the quilts. And, oh yes, now this I recognize, I think I recognize this quilt. I believe this is by uh, let's see, this is by, no, it isn't who I thought it was. Oh, Kathy Moore, Solly Hall, very local filter. I think I know this quote. Uh, let's see. Kelly Orr, Kelly Orr, yes. I recognize this quilt. This, this is a quilt by Kelly Orr. Kelly Orr has got a handy quilter of Ante. She's based up in the borders of Scotland. Pete went up actually and um, helped her install the frame on this. Um, beautiful quilt, Kelly, and thanks very much for demoing to um, a couple of quilters recently. I believe you're a friend of uh, Joe Avery, and um, next time we come up, I think um, we might be passing by. So uh, anyway, hopefully we will see you at some point on our travels up in Scotland. And also this one, uh, let's see. Nope, not that one. Lovely quilts. I recognize these techniques because I did, um... oh, please do not touch. Tesseract. I think I need to get new glasses. I can't quite read these until I get really close. Oh, hi. Um. Yeah. Like that lockdown magic scrap bag, lucky dip. Marianne. Oh, Marianne Tencata. Yeah, so Marianne has got a um, handy quilter and she was on the stand yesterday. And in fact, I'm looking forward very much to doing um, a talk with London quilters. London quil quilters, I'm going to be doing a talk with you in, well, later in the year. And I like the way that Marianne described this. She just did a lucky dip and then placement of her squ her scraps. Um, lovely to see you again, Marianne. And look forward to connecting with you later in the year. In October, we're going to have a little a little get together before we do the uh, London Quilters little demonstration of a handy quilter with you guys. Looking forward to that. Uh, okay, and here we've got Superchard, that's nice. Modern meets traditional. Like that. What else have we got? Okay, so I'm going to come around here. I hope I'm not making anybody... I'm trying to do this really steady. I'm on a selfie stick. There's another classroom, room four. Oh, wow.
That is very cool. That's like Tula. That is definitely Tula. Tula pink. It's like Tula meets the Joker. Let me just see whose quilt this is. I don't know whose it is. CT56. There we go. It gives you an idea of the amount of space. Sue, I know. Yeah. Hey, Sue. Great to have you on here. I'll tell you who I saw yesterday. Well, no, day before yesterday. So much fun. Andrea and her friend who said they came down to see you and had a lot of fun. Um, I think Project Linus coordinator you are. Uh, Andrea Bonson, who we're doing the installation with in um, August. Oh, my hand's getting a bit of cramp. Hang on. I've got a few things in my hand. Excuse me while I'm just sort out my hand here. It's funny, I'm seeing so many quilts, and I did this class. I did that class online. That was fun. There's another person who did that same class. It's really fun doing that very thin. It's a really cool technique. Oh, that's Jan. I saw Jan's class. Oh, yes, Jan Bevan. We've just been in the classroom with Jan. So Jan has got a handy quilter um, Avante on the little foot frame. Anyway, back to Sue. Sue Such and Margaret, who've got their handy quilter Avante down in Sussex. Um, we, Pete and I would love to pop in and see you when we're on our sojourn down to Sussex, Sue, uh, so we'll be in touch. Um, Pete and I are going to be on the 23rd of August. We're going to go and see my very lovely friend, Howard Bell at Ticehurst. He won Pub of the Year. He's general manager there. Uh, Pub of the Year um, at the Bell at Ticehurst. And we would love it if we can somehow squeeze in a visit to see you and Harvard. That would be really nice. Look at that one, that looks amazing. That looks truly amazing. I must go buy the Orophil stand as well. I like having the selfie stick because I'm not very tall, but I can get over everybody's head. I wish I was that tall. Oh, I like that. Hey, oh. Hey up. <laughs> Who's done hey up? Hey up. Greetings from Yorkshire. <laughs> Janet Bottomley from Barnsley. I like that. So then you've got the stands. It won't be like this next year. The stands will be a lot closer together. Brother. The only, I mean, I think one of the very few machines I don't have is a brother. I think I've probably got almost every other brand apart from a brother. So here we've got, I could do with a few more pockets. I haven't got enough pockets. Any difference. <laughs> I recognize all the same place. I recognize this okay. lady. See you Bye. I'm trying to... Hiya. Hiya. I recognize you over there. But you're yes, I know. And I'm, I'm doing Facebook Live. 
Oh. Hi. Pardon? I can't. Nasty tail. That's right. Um, we won yes. the filters. That's and I, right. And Crystal. I made the quilt. I remember you now. Yeah, so we got first prize. You did. So and I, I saw uh, Frances Meredith. Oh, did you? Yes. Uh, she was here on Friday. Friday, yeah, she yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing Facebook Live. So let, where's your where's the quilt hanging now? Um, it's in the Winners Gallery. Yeah, that's right. Is it next to... Uh, can we just... red and white one. Should we walk down that way? Sure. Yes, I do. Sure. I do. Yeah, no. I think. Well, wait, very good. We do, I'm doing Facebook Live, so let come talk talk to me about your Bristol Quilters quilt. Right, okay. Let's so, walk down that uh, way. So we need to go to the winners, so it's... Yeah. Um, can we go that way yeah, or this way? Think, uh, this way? This way. This way. Yeah. We're lost yeah, now. Oh, this is this um, is great. So we, were, we needed to, a, a project to celebrate yeah. um, 40 years of Bristol Quilters. Yes. And so um, I was part of the committee, and yeah. so I said, well, I'll do the project. So I conceived the idea. Oh, let me give you a speaker. Hang on a second. I've got a second speaker. I don't need it. I'm no, no, sure. you won't be able to hear. Nobody oh, that's will be able... really good. That is really, really good that they can't hear me. No, like no, they no. They can see me. It's even worse. <laughs> Hang on. If I just mic you up, clip that on, or just hold it. Okay, I'll hold it. Yeah, okay. You got it there? It's because I have yeah. the blue light on. Right, you can just speak uh, yeah, it's that. got a blue light on. Has it? Okay, okay, go ahead. All right. Yeah. Uh, so where was I? Uh, yeah. So I conceived of the project, yeah. and um, um, I made I made some samples, just four four blocks. Yeah. Not very not very difficult to encourage okay. people. And then before I was going, because I'm a moderator as well for the OCR. Before I went on moderation, I took photographs of the ones we had, just to encourage people, right. to encourage more coming in. And right. so then I started making it in November, okay. November probably, um, put it up on the design wall and changed the ones that were not quite accurate, perhaps. Okay. <laughs> um, and had a really nice time putting it on the design wall. Um, and then I finished it for February. Oh, where, that's good for, going. And then we were cancelled because of COVID. Yes. So we didn't have the quilt show um, in, in May. So it's been waiting. Wow. To have an audience. I put it in for the quilt show in May at Malvern. Of course, that, that was cancelled too. And so this is his first outing. Fantastic. Well, and to have won first prize is, is amazing. Is, well, what dream, a, a dream come true. Absolutely. A dream come true. Because the last time I saw you was down at um, uh, Bristol, at yeah. Cat, like, at one of Christine Porter's. That's right, at the, at, the quilt, uh, at, the quilt, at the quilt retreat. Yeah. The quilt retreat. We talked about weddings and we photography. Did. We did if talk I remember about weddings over breakfast. And you were putting you, together, you were doing a design for a quilt you were putting together. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, that might be one that I've got here that's uh, down there. Okay. Where the, you see the two shapes, it's oh, just yes. down from there. Oh, fantastic. There. I'll have to go okay. have a look. So here so, it is. So fantastic. So how many people contributed to About this? About 70, I think. Wow. So I made nine. What a real collaboration. And some people made um, um, two and three. So that was brilliant. Let's just sit um, for a moment, can we? Because that's quite a yeah, good yeah. distance from, if you, yeah. Yeah. Lovely. So, of course, it gives me a good excuse to sit down. <laughs> of course. So, I use the buttons. Yeah. I, I ask people to put buttons in about okay. four, four, four to six. Uh, Mother of Pearl, which are my favourites, um, white and red. Yeah. Because I just some, oh, somehow nice. I just came up with the idea, but it was at the beginning I came up with the idea. I thought, oh, that actually, it'd be quite it. nice to have the buttons on because it creates texture. It does. And it's like a full stop in each of the squares. It is. Because there's no sashing. Of course. So it's more ah, immediate than that. Um, I, I got that. Frances Meredith to stitch in the ditch. Yes. Because I, I just didn't have the time to. And she's got the skills. Yes. So she's a Bristol yes, quilter. She's, she's quite a good quilter. She quilts <laughs> all of she's my quilt tops. She's marvellous. <laughs> she's fantastic. Right. Because I just like to design and make. Yes. And life's too short. Yes. To do doing everything. I can do smaller things myself, but sometimes... I, and we have an intellectual conversation. We have a lovely time when I go and see her about quilting. Well, when you collaborate with somebody on a regular basis, they get to know you, yeah, and you yeah, get to yeah, know them. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a it is a true collaboration. Fantastic. Thing, yeah. So I think my favourite, yes, is the one in the middle, the little um, Liberty Floral. fabrics, the the flowers. Yes. It is so beautiful. It is. And then it's we're so visit. lucky that we had the two forties. So this is a Sashiko one, ah. the forty there. And that works really well, but somebody else had done one with Bristol Quilters at 40. So that meant it was able to balance. I love it. So I quite enjoy doing the balancing um, because 
because I quite enjoy that. Yes. Um, and then the stitching together is is, is just being accurate. Yes. And so and, I made and sure they were, those blocks up. Well, because you have to do yeah. that at the beginning. Yes. Because and then you have a pile, a big pile of ones that need looking at, and a pile that are, are fabulous. Thank goodness. <laughs> And then I just decided to do the binding. I think Chris Porter uh, donated the binding. Lovely. And somebody else did all the printing on the back of the names. I only yeah. put people's names down once because I thought, if you, well, I can't put my name down nine times, can I? Because that's a bit ridiculous. So, um, Fair enough. yeah. So uh, it was all absolutely fine. And some of them I put buttons in the middle yes, just to that. give a bit of texture. And, but some of them were so beautifully joined in the middle. I thought yes. I didn't really need to do that. But some of them just needed a bit of a lift. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, and, and, less... and a contrast. Yeah. And a contrast. Well, I think yeah. it's absolutely something. It's a group quilt. I think it, it ticks every box, doesn't it? I because think so. Of, in terms of interest, I totally agree about the fact it hasn't got the sashing and it gives it surface interest. And I love the fact there's a little sunbonnet right. Sue in there. Because she Chris, is. Chris would have loved having a sunbonnet Sue. She suit. would, but that's not hers. No, but I'm glad there's no little noose there. Because <laughs> um, Chrissy Porter did do. Yeah, a bit sun, subversive. Subversive. <laughs> subversive sunbonnet sun Sue, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I could sit and look and just enjoy yeah. many of these quilt blocks. So thank you so much. I, what a lovely spontaneous meeting. Of, Absolutely. Thank and you so much. Whilst I was wandering around doing know, Facebook Live. I know. Um, and I'm so glad I had a second microphone so that you could actually explain. You're very kind. <laughs> That's really wonderful. Have you, had a lo have you enjoyed the show? I have. It's been lovely to have the space. Yes. It's a different atmosphere. It is. But it's calm. And oh, yeah. I've spent more time in the galleries, particularly the one about the refugees. That was absolutely, yeah. oh, it's just it's heart rending. Is it? Heart rending. Ah. Yeah, it's okay. a lovely body of work, but it's listing the number of refugees, just list the ones that have died that have been listed and the reasons why. Oh, it's to do with the Guardian um, article, well, um, supplement. Okay. Very, very interesting. I can already tell by the way you're talking that it's very emotional. It is very emotional, yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, which is, it is amazing. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. Because my own parents were refugees. Were so, they? Yeah, from and the war. Pete, so Pete's, um, it does resonate. Pete's mother was a refugee. Yeah. So, because she was resonate. Italian and literally yeah. was the last of her, of her friends to move from Italy because they were starving. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. it gets you, doesn't it? it does, well, of course it does, yeah. Yeah, and my mum, who's 95, right. came from um, Poland, Ukraine, oh. and my dad came from Russia. Gosh, so. oh yeah, so it's very close, isn't it? Is it is very close. And I think yeah. we don't, all of us don't have to go back too far before, before we actually hit some of those things. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And the impact. And the made. impact. And um, particularly the fact in, in, in Britain and in, in England and whatever, because, you know, we are a conglomeration. We are. And it's really important to recognise that is. we are not little Britain. No. So. Exactly. Shall we end on that? We shall. <laughs> we shall. Thank you so much Take for your up. time. Okay. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Love Bristol Quilters. Love the quilt. And congratulations mm -hmm. on your win. Thank you. All right. You take care. You too. All right. Bye bye. Take care. I'm going to end my Facebook Live on that note. Thank you, everybody, for watching and catch up on Facebook and YouTube.